So, in today's video I wanted to talk about one of the really dumb things I keep hearing people say, and obviously I don't mean this to be offensive to you if you don't know any better, because I want to correct that with this video, but if you're one of the people that keeps believing it despite being told otherwise, I'm sorry but you shouldn't be into this hobby or whatever else. And this is, what is the purpose of a gas mask or respirator, and how are you meant to use it? So, obviously the purpose of this, at least for us as civilians, if there's some sort of chemical or vapour threat, you use the mask long enough to neutralise that threat or to escape. You don't just sit there um, with gas around for an indefinite period of time. However, I'm getting lots and lots of comments from people who think for some reason they need filters that last like a week. You, you don't get filters that last that long. You can keep swapping your filter out every sort of 12 to 24 hours depending on the size of the filter and what you're exposed to, but you know, filters aren't meant to last that long because in no practical purpose would somebody be sitting in a cloud of horrible chemicals for a week so quite often I get people say oh, that filter only lasts 24 hours, that's not a very long time that filter only lasts 12 hours, that's not very long that filter lasts 6 hours, that's not very long the purpose of the filter is that if there was gas I could go, oh crap, there's gas, right, quick, mask on right, I've got my mask on it's pressurised, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run for it, right? I'm going to run off and uh, get the hell out of here if there's gas. That's the purpose, right, of the filter. It's to protect you. Obviously, yeah, if you're using it for industrial use, the filter's going to have a lifetime suitable for the job at hand. You're going to be able to get out of the industrial area with the nasty chemicals, and then what you can do, obviously, after that is swap the filter at your leisure for the next time you go into the contaminated environment. What you're not going to do is if there's been some industrial gas leak, you're not going to say, I'm going to put my mask on and now I'm just going to sit here indefinitely until the chemicals go away. Why would you do that? I just don't understand it. So let's get the mask back off because a lot of people complain on these sorts of videos that when I've got masks on it's hard to hear me. So anyway, Obviously, yeah, if you're in the military, then it's a bit different. Obviously, in the military, you're probably expected to carry out some sort of mission if there's a gas attack. Um, you know, you might have to be attacking somewhere where there's chemical weapons or something like that. Now, in those scenarios, your filter should still adequately give you enough time. And if your filter's running out and you've got no spares, I'm assuming they'll be rotating troops off. I know it doesn't always go to plan with all these military operations, which is one of the reasons I have problems with masks like the M17 if you think the filters are meant to last like six hours of actual chemical use. You know, it'd be quite common in a firefight, I guess, to be pinned down for quite a long time if there's chemical weapons around. So, obviously the purpose of the filter is, you know, that it lasts long enough so you can do whatever you want to do and probably give you adequate extra time as well. Now, as a civilian, I find it hard to believe that 24 hours, an entire day and night, would not be enough time for you to get out of an area where a chemical weapon is, or, you know, a chemical leak or something like that. You know, I don't understand the logic of, I just want to sit here indefinitely. I don't know if there's people who think if there's been some sort of chemical strike and it's affecting the house, what they're going to do is just wear a mask for, like, several days in a row, and then just keep changing the filters over. I mean... I don't quite get that, because you have to eat as well. I'm sure you, you're aware that you have to eat and drink. I know some masks like these do have drinking tubes on, but... It's just not practical, is it? So I, I really can't understand the logic of people who think that a mask is designed so you just sit indefinitely in a cloud of gas. Like with a military, even if they're carrying out an operation, their job is probably to go in there, neutralise some sort of threat, and then get out of there. Again, they're not just saying, let's sit in this cloud of mustard gas or cloud of nerve agent just for the fun of it. Um, you know, it just doesn't make sense, that logic to me. So yeah, the purpose of a respirator is obviously to protect you first and foremost. If you're in a civilian type scenario, um, if you're using a respirator for your workplace, it's to protect you while you carry out duties where there's no other way of doing it. So you need to have a respirator because the respirator is meant to be the last resort. You know, like they're meant to have good ventilation systems and everything like that, but if the company can't provide those or it's not practical, then they have to provide you with respirators. So it could be to either protect you while you do your job and there's another way around it, you need a respirator. Or to protect you while you evacuate from an area where there's a threat. So oh, a chemical weapon's gone off or there's been a chemical leak, put your respirator on and run for it. You know, something like that. 
or it's the military type use where as a soldier you might come into contact with chemical weapons so the mask is to protect you while you carry out your soldiering duties and it's meant to last long enough and the filters are meant to last long enough to carry, you know, so you can succeed in your mission. What it's not meant to do is just be indefinitely used while you sit in a cloud of gas and don't decide to get out of it. So no, you don't need respirator filters that last longer than 24 hours. I mean, yeah, if you can get in a compact size a filter that lasts longer than another filter, that's great. But why do you need a filter that lasts that long? Surely having a couple of spare filters that are sealed and some masks is good enough. Like I said, for most people, it's because I'm a collector. For most people, all you need is one mask that fits you, maybe one for each family member, if you're going to do that. But obviously, the mask that fits you properly, you're comfortable with the mask, you know, you have faith that the mask will work, so you've tested it with maybe, you know, another filter that's not your go-to filter in case of an emergency. And then you set it up so you've got the mask easily available with filters that you can open very quickly and put on the mask and then use it in case of an actual chemical emergency or some sort of emergency where you need a mask. You're not going to say, oh no, there's, here's our emergency, let's run our stockpile of filters down rather than escaping. I, I just don't understand the logic of that. So I don't know where people get this from, but there are people who definitely seem to think that filters and masks are meant to last like forever. Because even the mask itself... Let's say you have a filter that lasts a week, just a theoretical filter that somehow lasts a week and it's not a massive giant canister. Um, the filter lasts a week. If something like blister agents around, like mustard, you know, mustard gas or lewisite, they'll start slowly eating into the mask, or let's say there's some really harsh sort of acid gas. They start eating into the mask over time, so the mask, you know, at that point is probably a write-off once you've evacuated from that area. What you don't do is decide that you know, you're just going to sit there non stop because even if you had enough spare filters, eventually this mask is just going to fall apart and then your face is going to fall apart as well. So, you know, that's how it works. The mask is designed to protect you while you either do your mission, do your job, or get out of there. The mask is not meant to last forever. As I said, surplus masks tend to be quite good in the sense that when they're not exposed to harsh chemicals, they do last a really long time. But at the same time, they're not meant to last forever in a chemical warfare situation. They're meant to last long enough so you can do your mission and get out or, you know, evacuate the area or do your job for whatever you're doing. They're not meant to be, you know, forever. It's why lots of companies say, you know, use your mask for a bit, change the filters a few times for an industrial type job. But then eventually you have to have the masks replaced or, you know, sent off for repair where they basically just replace the mask. Because, you know, if you're encountering harsh chemicals the mask will eventually fail but yeah so yeah you use a mask for your job to do something or to evacuate you don't use the mask and just sit around sorry I've had to repeat that so many times but I just keep seeing this in the comments and it annoys me